M0 FXB Radtail 860. Someone asked me how to type the frequency when you're in HF mode. So if you press this button here, the one at the bottom, the small one here, you go into HF mode, okay? Give it a minute and you can preset all these in memories. So it takes you to the preset one. I've told it to come on at number channel memory number two. Now to type at the frequency, all you do is keep pressing the star until you see a tiny little black arrow here. So we're just so you, I'll, I'll make it go around so you know the differences. So you press it once, it takes it to channel. In this, you can move up and down preset channels in the receive HF mode. If you press the star again, it takes you to step. And then you can change the step with the up and down arrows. Look, 1K, 9K, 1000K, different steps. Okay. If you press the star again, you can change the bandwidth. And that's changing the bandwidth here. Star again, uh, low, low noise amplifier, again, up and down. And then this is the fine tune, the BFO, beat frequency oscillator. That's your fine tune. Press it again, it takes you back up here. Now here, you've got two choices. You can either select up and down to just change channels that you've preset, yeah? Or, this is, just want you to realize, that right now, I, I just did that slightly wrong. I need to just press it one more time. Here is the, the channel, so up and down. Sorry about that. You're changing channels, preset channels. But if you put the arrow here, you can type a frequency, so we can go, uh, zero three seven five zero zero okay and you can change the mode just by pressing here the, the hash and i'm gonna I'm, I'm making a video on showing you how to you know add these into your memory channels because in your memory channels you can actually set all of these things and you don't have to keep messing around with everything you can even yeah you, know, you can basically preset everything and just scroll through them so if we just press star we're in channel mode and look, we're gonna go, I've only set about four channels anyway. We can just go through our channels and to come out, you just press the bottom one. It will take you out into normal mode. And remember, airband, VHF, UHF work great on this radio and I'll do videos showing you how to preset them as well. And you've got three modes if you hit the hash. Is that louder? Mode. That's frequency. You can type when you're in frequency mode. You can type a frequency. One, four, five. Like so. And then if you press again. Channel. So then it's going to, if you go up and down, it will scroll through all the channels that you've programmed instead of having to go into zones. When you go into zone mode, it's scrolling through your zones. Not really created any zones, so it's a bit of a learning one on that one. But really, most of the time, I'm using it in either VFO, channel mode, where you can just scroll up through the channels, or I'm hitting that, and I'm starting to listen to HF, and I just quickly chuck my antenna on there, see if we can hear anything. Let's go to number two. Again, we have to press the start. Channel mode. And let's go, what have I preset here? Just going through the channels that I've preset. And you, it is a bit annoying all this resetting. It's an SI4732 chip in there. 20 meters. I like 40 meters. Then we go to See the way I've renamed them as well? VFO, so we go zero, seven, one, five. And as far as I can see, that actually, let's change the mode to LSB. As far as I can see, that's actually, when, I, when you type the frequency when you're on a channel, it actually changed it. So let's do the step. It sounds actually really good. So we do the step change that star changes this to your step then you can take it to one and now we can just go so let me do it on well, we have to press the star again bring it back up to the, the the little black arrow needs to go back up here and then 
That's going to sound good if we fine tune now. We'll go star. And then let's do the fine tune. We're going the wrong way. No, oh, hang on a minute. That's because it receives some air band. It does that. It will receive air band. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Now, the best antenna to use, in my opinion, is a very long length of wire, and you're talking like 70 foot long, and you're going to receive plenty. Bye for now.